I feel like all the good stuff is gone because we came a little bit late. What? Nuh uh. That's crazy. Okay, this might be a pickup. I'm starting a sneaker collection with just a $20 bill by buying and selling sneakers that I pick up at thrift stores. Let's do it. get into things though, I want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Soul Premise. So I'm sure you've heard me talk about Soul Premise in the past. They make the best sneaker bags out there. They're very high quality. They come in a ton of different colors and styles and they're priced very affordably. Now I usually talk about Soul Premise bags for traveling because not only do they carry a bunch of stuff, but they're also TSA approved, which means you can bring them onto the airplane with you, bring your valuable sneakers and your laptops and all that sort of good stuff with you rather than checking it underneath the plane, which always sucks because you never know exactly what's going on down there. Recently, though I've been bringing my Soul Premise bag with me whenever I go thrifting because in Jersey and in Philadelphia they no longer give you shopping bags whenever you shop so I need something to carry all the sneakers that I've thrifted now in today's video I was gonna show you guys what's inside the bag because you know it's a bunch of thrifted sneakers that I thrifted today however in order to not ruin the video for you guys what I'm gonna do is show you guys some b-roll of this bag with some other sneakers in it just so you guys can see that this bag actually holds five pairs of sneakers comfortably so if you guys want to check out Soul Premise for yourself make sure to click the link in the top of the description below and use my code Seth for 40% off your entire order. It actually makes a very high quality bag that's already affordable, even more affordable. It's kind of crazy. So getting into things, unfortunately we did not have any sales over the last week and that's mainly because over the last week I was on vacation and I was afraid if I listed something and then sold it, I'd have to wait a week before I could ship it. So instead of listing anything and risking anything like that, I decided to list everything as soon as I got back. So obviously that means that we don't have any new money to add to the sneaker collection fund, but I feel pretty comfortable because we have a collection fund of $97.07, which in my opinion is more than enough to go thrifting with. So let's do it. So first things first, we got some Pharrell's for 25 bucks size nine. That's actually a great price. Let me check this on eBay really quick. Okay, so there hasn't been a lot of sales, but they have moved and for 25 bucks, I feel like it's worth it. Really not a huge amount otherwise though. So I might just grab these and then head out. Got some giant Hardens. Maybe Harden's actual size, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see, size 13. Okay, not as big as I thought. I feel stupid. Got some of these, uh, these Yeezy, are these the shadows? The Adidas shadows that look like Yeezy 350s? I think so. They're definitely worn though. So first pickup of the week, of course, was at Plato's Closet, the place that I always go to first because they always have stuff. And that was a pair of crazy boost you wears, the Pharrell colorway, or at least one of the Pharrell colorways, the white colorway, in a size nine, which is my size, which is kind of crazy. Now these shoes are in really great condition and they're uh, they were only 25 bucks. Actually really stoked on that. Now the thing with this shoe is there's not a lot of sold listings on eBay, so it's not a shoe that I think will move that quickly. But uh, for 25 bucks, if I sell it for like 80 to 100, I'll be stoked. So definitely a good pickup. I'm willing to take the risk because they're in such great condition. They're a shoe that should sell eventually, just maybe not that fast. And again, for the uh, the buy cost of $25, you can't really go wrong with these. So really stoked on this pickup. In fact, I've got a lot of gratitude for this. <sighs> Man, you know what? Should have just left that one inside my head. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that I'm now filming for the first time in this vlog on the iPhone 14 Pro Max instead of the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It should be a slightly better experience for you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the uh, video quality, of the sound quality, and things like that. There might be some features that I need to turn on or off in the settings. I'm not sure. Like last time, the iPhone 13 Pro Max had like HDR, which I had to turn off because it just ruined all the videos in the editing process. So that might be on in this one. I didn't check before I started filming this. Excited about this phone. If you guys want to check out my full review, there will be a link to my tech channel in the description below. It's the first thing in Goodwill. Got some Sockinis. Not bad condition, but mm, not really needed. Okay, so I know it's not a sneaker, but I did find this PSP game for six bucks. And you can kind of flip it on eBay for like 11. I don't know if that's included in the challenge, but let me know in the comment section if I should have picked this up. Unfortunately, nothing at Goodwill this time. I know we've been having a crazy streak of luck at this Goodwill for some reason, but today, was not that day. We did find that PSP game. Now, if you guys watch my channel for a while, you know that I base this series off of Retro Rick's $10 game collection series. And it really makes me think, should I be picking up games and DVDs at the same thrift stores that we're already going to? Because it could help increase our sneaker collection fund. And it's still flipping things. It's still something that kind of fits within the series. It's just not sneakers. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I didn't pick it up because I didn't know how you guys felt about it. And I wanted to run it past you guys first, because even though this is me filming the series and it is my series, you guys are the main part of the series. Your feedback really helps influence what we do in this series. So love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I guess with that, on to the next spot. 
So, good news is, over the week, about two or three days in, we did actually end up selling a pair of sneakers, and it was a pair that I didn't really expect, and that's the Nike Dunk Lows and the Panda Colorway in the youth size. I think it was like a 1Y. We picked up this pair in the last episode from Goodwill for just $4.99, and we ended up selling them on eBay for $20 even. Now, because these shoes sold through the promoted listing and not through someone just searching a youth pair of Nike Panda Dunk Lows, we did have to pay eBay a little bit more than I would have liked. We had to pay the promotion fee, but overall, we still made a decent amount of money. And after all of those fees and the shipping and all that sort of good stuff, we were able to add $17.93 back into the sneaker collection fund. Which means we have a new sneaker collection fund of $90 even, which almost never happens. I can't remember the last time we had an even number as a sneaker collection fund other than right at the beginning with the $20 bill. Either way, let's go thrifting. Okay, first stop, the bins. Got some Pumas. I don't know what those are. Some KDs. Very nice, Tom Hilfiger's. I think that's pretty much it in the bin today. Okay, moving on. Got some Boost You Wears for 30. Yeah, don't really move for much. Got some Pumas. First Puma basketball sneaker, just bad colorway. What else do we have? Not too much in these aisles. ZX Fluxes. Not too bad, I remember when these were big. Not this colorway, but this style. Got some of these to Joy Rides. Not too badly worn, they usually pop. Over time and all the beads come out, it's ridiculous, but we're popular for like a second. I actually found some of the latest PGs. PG, uh, I don't remember, sixes maybe? Size 13, how much? 460, oof. I think I'm good on those, but great condition though. Some giant LeBrons, don't want those. Got some Westbrooks. Man, there's just not much of this play those unfortunately. Hold up, got some Flyknit racers. Not bad, good condition too. For 40 bucks. I'm gonna actually look these up. So not terrible, they go for like 60 to 80, but this is a size 14. I didn't see one size 14 sold, so I'm gonna leave this guy. Got some 327s. I don't know what colorway this is, the black, orange, and gum colorway? Actually, these might be brand new, or close to. Okay, so these are 25, and I couldn't find this exact colorway online. I'm sure it's there, I just didn't search it too hard, but I think I'm gonna grab these size eight and a half. Not a bad pickup. Okay, so I stopped by a different Play-Doh's closet than I usually stop by. Um, it's about 20 minutes south of where I usually go, but I did find this pair of basically brand new 327s. Now the outsole looks, I mean the outsole looks brand new, but there is scuffs on the side of the shoe. So I wonder if maybe someone cleaned them or maybe they just never wore them and they got beat up in like someone's closet. I'm not 100% sure, but size eight and a half, great condition, 25 bucks. I think I could probably flip these for like 40 to 60. So not a bad pickup, not a huge pickup, but definitely a solid like midweek grab. So stoked on that, On to the next spot. with the bins, let's we'll see if there's anything crazy in here. Ooh, some LeBrons. Really worn them. Yeah. Some faux Crocs. But that's about it. Never actually been in the bins, this is kind of cool. So much stuff. Oh, what are these? Some sort of mashup of Air Force Ones and Jordan 7s, I guess. I feel like all the good stuff is gone because we came a little bit late. Oh, we got Calabasas, what? Nuh-uh, hold up. That's crazy, okay, this might be a pickup. Well, we're grabbing these, because I feel like no matter what they cost, it's probably worth it. Let's see what else they got. Not too, oh, Air Forces. Let's see, pretty beat though, probably not worth it. Bunch of Vans. Ooh, got some Stan Smiths. Not too, too much over here. Got a bunch of shoes and then a cigar thing. Right in the shoes, so that's great. Got some Air Maxes. What else, got some Fila's. Some Nikes. Hmm, that's about it. Let's try another bin. Got a bunch of boots. Got some more boots, some Vans. Got some more Vans. These are kind of cool. Star Wars. That's actually sick. Not too worn. That's not too bad. Ah, here we go. Some Jordan 13 flu games. No, breads. Ah, here we go. Got some Jordan 13s. Kid size. 
Not much heel drag, no laces though. But I might grab these if I can find the other one. Man, where would it be? Oh, more? No, Pumas. So unfortunately I can't find the other one, but still a cool find, definitely. Got some EQTs, at one point they were the softest shoes out, but pretty dirty, pretty beat, and I don't think they really move anymore. Got some React Element 55s, small size, and I can't find the other one, so <laughs> definitely not a pickup. No way. Got some True Blue 3s. Oh, oh man. Well, that sucks. Realistically, I probably could try and glue this back on, but it's just probably not worth the effort. So that was actually my first time to the Goodwill bins. I've never been to the Goodwill bins before. I didn't even realize there was a Goodwill bins in South Jersey. So I'm really stoked on that. And I picked up a pair of shoes, the uh, Adidas Calabasas or the Yeezy Calabasas for $2.86, which is absolutely insane. It was based on weight. Um, I don't know the size. I don't even know what they're going for, but for $2.86, you can't really go wrong. And honestly, I feel like we got a new spot. We found a bunch of great stuff. Unfortunately, a lot of it either was broken or missing parts, but I did see there was a woman behind me who must have gone through the bins before I did. She got some Jordan 4 Fire Reds in a kid's size, which would have been sick to grab. She got a bunch of really great like Nike running sneakers in good condition. She definitely made out, but I still feel like with those Yeezy Calabasas, it was worth the trip. Is it Calabasas? Calabasas? Yeezy Calabasas? I think it's Yeezy Calabasas. But yeah, not a bad pickup for my first time at the Goodwill bins, and I'm definitely coming back here. Even though it's a little bit out of the way, it's definitely worth it. So I'm not gonna lie, at the beginning of the week, I was pretty disappointed because all we had found was this pair of Pharrell Human Race Crazy Boost You Wears, which don't get me wrong, is a decent pair of sneakers, but it's been listed for a couple days now and it hasn't moved at all. It is a good size. I think it's either a size eight and a half or a size nine. And it's in pretty good condition, but these shoes don't really move. And while I got them for just 25 bucks, which in my opinion is a great price for this pair of shoes, if they don't sell, it kind of feels like a waste of $25. When this was all we had, I was definitely bummed out. But for whatever reason, I decided to drive like 20 minutes farther than I usually drive, and I found a Goodwill Benz, which I didn't realize was called the Goodwill Outlet. I feel like if I had known that, I would have searched for a Goodwill Outlet and found this place a lot sooner, but you know, a year and a half after starting to thrift at Goodwills, I'm starting to find the Goodwill Benz. And I've gotta admit, the Goodwill Benz did not disappoint. Surprisingly, there was a a lot of really great stuff there. There were tons of Jordans, just a lot of them were in really bad condition, like the uh, the talking pair that you guys saw, or um, some pairs that just didn't have the other side of the pair. And overall, it was a really good experience. I'm definitely gonna stop by there again. I kept getting comments from people saying, go to the bins, go to the bins, and I didn't, I didn't know where the bins were. And now that I do, I'm definitely gonna go to the bins. So as you guys saw, the pair that I picked up from the Goodwill bins was this pair of Adidas Calabasas Power Phases. It's a pair of Yeezys at the Goodwill bins for $2.86, which is absolutely unbelievable. They're in pretty decent condition. Um, they're not that heavily worn, which is kind of crazy. I mean, they're definitely crushed, uh, but I think with some rejuvenator, maybe throwing them in the washing machine or something like that, these could actually be basically brand new, which is kind of nuts. They've got their insoles, they look good. They don't smell too bad. I can't believe I just smelled this shoe. It's disgusting. Either way, it's a good looking pair of shoes. It's in pretty good condition. And uh, man, for $2.86, can't really get much better than this. I don't know what these are going for. I have no idea. I didn't search it. I just knew that if I see a pair of Calabasas in the Goodwill bins, I'm definitely going to grab it. And uh, I'm really happy with it. I feel like this was an amazing pickup. So to everyone in the comment section who recommended it, sorry it took so long for me to get there. And then the final pickup was this pair of New Balance 327s from a Plato's closet that I don't usually go to. Shout out to David, by the way, a viewer who came up and said what's up. I've actually ran into him before, I think at the Nike outlets with uh, him and his son. So shout out to David and his son, Andrew. Appreciate you guys saying what's up. Found this pair of shoes, really great condition, basically brand new. I think it's a size eight and a half. And um, while I did pay $25 for this, which honestly is probably right on the cusp of the amount that I should pay for it. I feel like if I had paid more for it, it wouldn't have been worth it. And if I had paid less for it, it would have been a much better deal. So I'm gonna list these guys up on eBay and just see what happens. So wish me luck. Hopefully they sell by next week. Hopefully everything sells by next week, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. But hey, we end off the week with $62.14 in our sneaker collection fund, a bunch of sneakers to sell. Hope you guys enjoyed this week and I'll see you all in the next one.